For over a century, physics has been our most trusted map of reality, the rulebook of the cosmos. It's supposed to tell us how everything works, but lately the universe isn't following the rules. Astronomers are seeing galaxies that shouldn't exist, colossal mature systems forming just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Meanwhile, physicists here on Earth are watching particles break patterns that have held for decades. Measurements of the universe's expansion suddenly don't agree. It's as if reality itself can't make its mind up. And the deeper we look, the stranger it gets. The James Webb Space Telescope is capturing light that defies our cosmological models. CERN's particle accelerators are spitting out results that don't fit the standard model. Even LIGO, our gravitational wave detector, is picking up ripples that hint at unknown cosmic forces. Everywhere we look, something is off. It's as though the universe has started glitching, rewriting its own rules one law at a time. So what's happening? Is the universe evolving in ways we don't understand, or are we finally reaching the limits of human knowledge itself? Whatever the answer, one thing is certain. The universe is breaking the laws of physics and it's daring us to catch up. When scientists say the universe is broken, they don't mean it lightly. These aren't internet conspiracy theories, they are data problems. Real, measurable contradictions that shouldn't exist and yet they do. Let's start with the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye on the cosmos. Within months of going online, it spotted fully formed galaxies just 300 million years after the Big Bang. That's impossible. According to our current models, galaxies that big shouldn't have had enough time to form. Stars shouldn't have fused, dust shouldn't have cooled. None of it adds up. Next, we've got the Hubble tension. We have two precise ways of measuring how fast the universe is expanding, and they flat out disagree. The first method looks at the afterglow of the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, giving us an expansion rate of about 67 km per second per megaparsec. The second method uses nearby supernovae and galaxies, giving us about 74. That difference might sound small, but in cosmology, it's catastrophic. Either our physics is wrong, or the universe is trolling us. And then there is CERN, world's most expensive science experiment, where particles are breaking the rules too. Muons are wobbling when they shouldn't. B-masons are decaying unevenly, hinting at forces outside the standard model, which is the most successful theory in physics history. All of these discoveries share one thing in common. They shouldn't be happening. The cosmos is acting like a magician, showing us tricks that violate everything we thought we knew. So what's behind it all? Are these the first clues of new physics, or signs that our cosmic map has been upside down this whole time? And when reality stops playing by the rules, scientists have two options. Panic, or get creative. And if there is one thing cosmologists are good at, it's creativity. Let's look at some of the wildest and most serious theories that might explain why the universe is breaking physics as we know it. Number 1. Dark Matter and Dark Energy For decades, scientists have known we can only see about 5% of the universe. The rest, the missing 95%, is invisible. They call it Dark Matter and Dark Energy, which is basically science talk for we have no idea what it is, but it's doing something. Dark matter seems to glue galaxies together, while dark energy pushes them apart. But what if we got both wrong? Some new theories suggest that dark energy might not be constant. It could evolve over time, changing how fast the universe expands. That might explain the Hubble tension. The universe isn't glitching, it's just changing speed. And dark matter? Maybe it's not matter at all, but a side effect of physics leaking from another dimension. Yes, that's one of the leading ideas. Number 2. Modified Gravity Einstein's equations have survived for over a century, predicting everything from time dilation to black holes. But what if they don't work perfectly on cosmic scales? Enter Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, which argues that gravity behaves differently across vast distances. Instead of dark matter holding galaxies together, maybe gravity itself changes its rules when you zoom out far enough. It's like discovering your car's steering wheel only works properly below 60 miles per hour. Everything looks fine until you hit a cosmic speed. Mond is controversial, but it does explain a few galactic oddities without invoking invisible matter. The catch? It breaks down under general relativity. 
Number 3. Extra Dimensions String theory proposes that the universe isn't made of points but tiny vibrating strings and for the math to work there must be hidden dimensions. We experience three dimensions of space and one of time. But what if there are more, curled up, invisible, influencing everything from quantum behavior to gravity's weakness? These extra dimensions could distort how we perceive the universe, making galaxies look older, distances seem off or expansion rates appear inconsistent. In other words, maybe nothing's broken, we are just seeing the shadow of a higher dimensional reality. And number 4. The Simulation Hypothesis And that's the most unsettling theory of all. What if these anomalies aren't errors in physics, but bugs in code? The Simulation Hypothesis suggests our universe could be a vast computation, a reality running on information. If that's true, these strange results might not be violations of natural law, they are rendering errors. Quantum randomness, particle decay asymmetries, even the cosmic speed limit could all be features of a programmed universe designed to appear consistent until it isn't. I know, it sounds like sci-fi, but serious physicists like Nick Bostrom or Sabine Hossenfelder actually discuss it as a philosophical possibility. Because when your best theories stop working, you have to consider everything. Now, each of these explanations could fix one mystery, but none of them fix them all. That's the terrifying beauty of it. For the first time in generations, physics might be standing at the edge of its own understanding. And whatever comes next could change everything we think we know about reality itself. Now, here is a dangerous thought. What if the universe isn't broken, but we are? I mean, think about it. Every time humans have said, we figured out how reality works, the universe has politely and sometimes violently corrected us. We once thought Earth was the center of everything, then the Sun, then our galaxy, then our universe. Now we are not even sure our physics belong to the universe we're in. Maybe the problem isn't the data, maybe it's our assumptions. We treat the laws of physics like commandments, unchanging, eternal, carved into the fabric of space-time. But what if they are not constant at all? What if the laws themselves evolved, shifting as the universe cooled and expanded? In that case, physics isn't broken, it's still under construction. The universe might not have one rulebook, it might be writing new chapters as it goes. What we call laws could be local guidelines, like cosmic traffic signs that only apply in certain neighborhoods of space-time. That would explain why things stop making sense when we look too far back or too far out. We are applying modern physics to an ancient, alien universe that played by different rules. And that's not even the weirdest part. Some physicists argue that we shape physical reality simply by observing it. That consciousness isn't a passenger in the universe, it's part of the operating system. If that's true, then maybe these contradictions in physics aren't glitches. They are feedback, reality adjusting itself every time we look closer. So maybe the universe isn't misbehaving. Maybe it's evolving. And maybe we are too. Because every time our models fail, it's not the end of science, it's the start of a new chapter in understanding. And right now, we might be living in the exact moment when everything we think we know about reality is about to change. The universe has always rewarded curiosity, but it never gives up its secrets easily. Every time we think we've cornered the truth, it slips through our fingers like starlight. Einstein's equations once described everything. Now they crack under the weight of very cosmos they helped explain. Quantum physics shattered our sense of logic. And the deeper we dig, the more we find that reality isn't a puzzle we are solving. It's a mystery we are living inside. Maybe that's the point. Maybe the universe was never meant to be simple. Maybe it's contradictions, galaxies too old, particles too strange, light too fast, aren't mistakes. Maybe they are messages, clues, invitations to keep asking questions. Because the real magic of science isn't certainty, it's wonder. The moment you realize how little we truly know, that's when the cosmos feels alive again. We call these discoveries problems, but they are real doorways, cracks in the cosmic shell that let us peek into whatever comes next. And right now, we are standing on that threshold. Somewhere beyond our understanding, a new physics is waiting. One that might finally connect the quantum and the cosmic, the seen and the unseen. 
Maybe it will explain dark matter, maybe it will explain us. Until then, we are keep searching. Because every contradiction, every anomaly, every cosmic mystery brings us one step closer to the edge of understanding. And one step deeper into the truth of existence itself. And if the universe really is rewriting its own rules, then we are the lucky generation that gets to watch it happen. Thank you for watching. Keep looking up.